UTPA men's basketball getting ready for an exhibition game on Saturday. We'll check in with them. The entire UTPA campus caught up in Spirit Week, and we'll take a look at how UTPA women's basketball is supporting the troops. This is Brown Country. Welcome to Bronx Country. I'm Jonah Goldberg. The countdown to tip off on the UTPA Bronx Instagram account now stands at just one week. And the University of Texas Pan American men's basketball team takes the court for the first time on Saturday at 7 when they host Texas A&M Kingsville in an exhibition game. Marianne Garcia has more. Our kids work hard every night and represent the school. I mean, new team, new coach. New drills, new system, and new plays all leading up to the start of UTPA's men's basketball 2013-2014 new season. We're very close to having our whole defensive package in and then trying to refine some things on the offensive end. With all these changes, it would be easy to imagine players becoming intimidated, but the Bronx won't intimidate easily. Not intimidating at all. It's definitely a motivational standpoint, you know, the change and all that. Everybody wants to come play and show this coach that we can handle the pressure. Uh, I'm excited for that, man. I've been waiting for this day to come. I'm just waiting for the, just the season to start. When that ball goes there. If it does go there, you gotta go with it right away, Kyle. This year, the Bronx will be competing in a new conference, the Western Athletic Conference, or WAC, a change that brings new challenges and opportunities. Great opportunity for the kids, you know, playing in the WAC, great tradition of the conference. Teams have been in the final four out of the WAC. Uh, so great competition and uh, an opportunity to then play for championships. To earn a spot in that championship will take more than hard work. It will also take leadership. Excited for the competition. I see what the team is going to bring. You know, a lot of new guys. Uh, us as seniors, we got to step up and lead the team. The seniors, along with the entire team, respect and are ready to play under Hipshire's new systems. This year, he, this coach knows what he wants, and if you're not going to give it to him, he won't play. Orange ball. Practice is good, but practice with a purpose is motivating. We've just been preparing for the all season and getting ready for the, the exhibition game. That exhibition game is against Texas A&M Kingsville on Saturday at 7 p.m. at the UTPA Fieldhouse. The Bronx see that game as a chance to evaluate techniques that they've introduced during the preseason. That's what the exhibition game's for, you know, to find out who's prepared on game night and whether we're prepared and playing against a strange offense and a different defense. Yeah, you know, we got to come together. You know, we put in a lot of work over the offseason, so I'm just looking forward to see what, what we got to show. If the sound, speed, and energy of this practice is any indication, the Bronx will have plenty to show on the court when they face the Javelinas on Saturday. Reporting for Bronx Country, I'm Marianne Garcia at the UTPA Fieldhouse. We got our first look at the Bronx on Friday at Bronx Madness in a green and white scrimmage. And early on, it was all green team. Justin Leathers comes up with a layup. And look at Jamal Danzler getting airborne. The returners were busy early as Leathers comes up with the dunk here. And then Javorn Farrell creates his own offense. Gives Green a 10-4 lead. After a timeout, here comes White. Mo McDonald showing off his athleticism. And then Christian Hildebrandt from downtown. A little later on, Alex Majewski up for the slab. And then check this out. Mo McDonald, Ali, Josh Cleveland rocks the rib. White comes back to win 18-12. Next time you'll see the Bronx on the court in uniform is Saturday at 7 against Texas A&M Kingsville. The UTPA women's basketball team doesn't play an exhibition game this year, but they're just as close to the men to the start of their season. Romeo Villarreal has this report. As the start of the women's basketball season approaches, many are wondering how the team has improved since the start of the practice season. Well, you're seeing uh, players really evolve. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing a lot. Of, I've got a really good freshman, Shantae Goff, is evolving into one of the better players on the team. And I've got other people that are stepping up and, and passing people that 
maybe thought they had a position and they don't have a position. Nothing's in the concrete here. People are going to compete for, con for positions and, and you got to rise to the competition level. Coach Tidwell and his coaching staff aren't the only ones who are noticing improvement out on the court. The players are also taking notice of the hard work their teammates are putting in and are using this to push themselves to work harder to earn a spot on the team. We're seeing a lot of good things. A lot of my teammates are showing their abilities and it's just getting each other going, you know, communicating, making shots. We improve on a lot, actually. Coach Tidwell is hoping this sense of competition at practice will drive the players to carry over that sense of urgency into their first game. And we gotta push each other and we gotta, we gotta work for each other. So as far as us being a yellow brick road, no, it's not a yellow brick road because I got kids competing for competition and we're just going to have to bow up and, and you're going to have to be uh, accountable for your actions. Reporting from the UTPA Fieldhouse for Bronx Country, this is Romeo Villarreal. Like the men, the women also took part in a green and white scrimmage at Bronx Madness and early on, the Bronx were letting loose from downtown. Newcomer Tonisha Walker with her first of two three-pointers here. And then Jasmine Thompson makes a three from the other side of the arc. Now it's the white team's turn. Shantae Goff with a three of her own. Now it wasn't all threes. Raquel Preston knocks down the layup here. And then it's to Andrea Nolan from the foul line. Jada Bennett had a basket as well. Only time you'll see her in uniform this season as she transferred over from North Florida and will have to redshirt the season. But hey, everyone's eligible to practice. The Bronx opened the season November 8th at home with a doubleheader as the women face Shriner and the men take on Sam Houston State. Season tickets are on sale right now. Men's tickets start at $75. Women's tickets start at $50. Doesn't get much better than that. And with the season so close, the campus and the community are rallying around the Bronx. We'll start with the community as nearly 200 people packed the inaugural UTPA basketball tip-off luncheon last week to get the first words on the season from coaches Hipsher and Tidwell. Raquel Gonzalez has more. The athletic department organized this event to provide knowledge about the basketball program to the community and to thank them for their endless support and involvement. It's very exciting for the athletic department for the university. Uh, you know, we hired uh, Coach Tidwell and Coach Hips here last April. It's sort of what we call the new era of Bronc athletics. And uh, to do a first ever tip off luncheon, to introduce the coaches to the community, have the coaches introduce themselves, the team, the upcoming season. Um, you know, I just think it's, it's great for, you know, the entire Rio Grande Valley and, and trying to get more support for the basketball programs. As we get this done, it's going to take the people of the valley, the people of Edinburgh, McAllen, Hardington, and the entire valley for our mission people to come out and support these programs. With a powerhouse double team of Coach Larry Tidwell and Coach Dan Hipsher, along with the support of the community, Bronx basketball is ready for tip-off. It's an exciting time of the year for us. We're practicing, getting ready every day, and uh, you know, it's kind of a time to tip people off that, hey, it's about here. For Bronx Country, I am Raquel Gonzalez. On campus, it was Spirit Week at UTPA. It was like a week-long pep rally. Elizabeth Espinoza has the story. Serving as the kickoff to Bronx basketball season, UTPA hosted Spirit Week. Bronx from all over UTPA came together and showed their school spirit throughout events on campus, starting with Bronx Bash. Clubs and organizations came to show their school pride and bonded through games of the night. Following Bronx Bash was the annual tailgate party where the Bronx painted the town green and white. And my favorite part of like the whole semester is Spirit Week because um, these are sort of the sort of events that bring the students together um, to increase the school spirit. This whole week is an opportunity for students to get together and experience that school spirit. Students, staff and family gathered and enjoyed food, games, rides and music. Students put their grilling skills to the test and also participated in a food eating contest. It's, it means a lot that students are actually coming out here and showing spirit. A lot of students from different organizations and meeting like with student government and with the UPV, it's great because they're meeting us, we're meeting them and that unites us in a very strong way. And keeping the Bronx spirit alive and well is what the entire UTPA community is dedicated to. Since I came here, everything has been about building the spirit for the university. Identity, feeling part of what we're doing. And tonight just demonstrates that it's working. People are really involved, 
And we've got our littlest Bronx down here involved. Everybody's here tonight. It's about building spirit, about caring about the university. Brown cheerleaders pumped everybody up for the traditional burning of the UTPA letters. The Spirit Week showcased what it means to be a Bronx. Countless laughs and unforgettable memories were shared. Most importantly, Bronx came together and became a part of something greater. For Bronx Country, I'm Elizabeth Espinosa. Spirit Week built up to quite an exclamation point with a packed field house for Bronx Madness on Friday. The festivities included a dance competition, won by the Filipino Student Association. UTPA student athletes also took part, dressing up like zombies and getting down to Thriller. Now we already showed you the scrimmages, but that's just one part of the basketball fans got to see. There was also a dunk contest featuring Josh Cleveland, Justin Daniel, and Shaquille Hines. Hines, the winner there. Then there was a battle of the sexes three-point shootout. In the first matchup, Alex Majewski edged Laquita Garner. The second matchup needed a tiebreaker as Alexandria Hill and Hurley Johnson each hit eight three-pointers in 30 seconds. Over the next 30 seconds, Hill hit seven more to advance to the finals. Majewski ended up winning in the finals, but Hill effectively hit 19 three-pointers in a minute and a half enough to make even Reggie Miller blush. Last week, we told you about the UTPA volleyball team's Hawaiian punch. Coming up on this week's edition of Bronx Country, we take a look at the Bronx Texas 10. Here comes Reynolds. Yes! Tori wide open three. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. UTPA Volleyball at New Mexico State on Saturday, and this one belonged to the Aggies. Nine kills for Haley Durham to lead the Bronx. Nicole Masaki, 22 assists to go with two kills and four digs. Krista Freitas, two aces. Shanice Faison with nine digs. Coach, your thoughts? You know, we ran into a team that was playing really well. Uh, they had come off of, you know, two matches that uh, hadn't gone their way, so they were, they were firing on all cylinders. Um, you know, I don't think we played poorly. Uh, we went out and we executed the game plan early on. Um, you know, we just, a few key errors here and there gave them a little bit of momentum that uh, they didn't necessarily need. But, uh, you know, we, we just gave a few cheap points away and that, uh, that's where the match stretched on us. And, uh, you know, when you're fighting from behind on a team that, that's that solid, you know, it's, it's a tough task. Here's a look at the WAC standings. Defending champion New Mexico State back in the top spot with Utah Valley right on their heels. The Bronx came back home for a couple of days, but right back on the road Thursday at Seattle and Saturday at Idaho. We spent a lot of time today serving. Um, that's really where it's kind of been our Achilles heel of late the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, too many errors on our side, too many easy errors, uh, you know, missing zones and, and things like that, where, you know, if we can go and we can fire away from the service line and uh, really keep them on their on their heels passing, you know, I think that's where these two teams struggle a little bit. You know, they've got all the offense in the world, but, uh, you know, if they can't get there, then that's good for us. So we've got to really do our job at the service line. You know, we focused a lot on, you know, service aces versus reception errors, uh, things like that, our first touches, whether it's at the service line or whether it's as a passer things like that and uh, we've made some progress there over the last you know, week and a half really as we kind of buckle down on that and you know, we've just got to keep going. Much has been made about the Bronx recruiting pipeline to Hawaii with four Hawaiians playing for the Bronx over the last two years including three this year but as it turns out 10 of the 14 student athletes on the roster are from right here in Texas. Romeo Villarreal has the story.
If you're a volleyball team here in the state of Texas, you'd better recruit Texas players. Head coach Brian Yale didn't take those words lightly, with 10 of the Bronx players coming from right here in the Lone Star State. If I compare it to the Hawaiians, they're you know typically a you know a ball control, defensive oriented culture group, I guess, uh, for lack of a better term. Here in Texas, it may be a little more offensive. Um, you know, like I said, the teams do very well. They they win with you know hitting and blocking, and so uh, you know that may be kind of, and you can see that in our our freshman class of three hitters, all from Texas. With Texas's great weather and sense of community, for many of the Bronx. Playing outside of the state was never even a consideration. When I was looking at different schools to play at, I definitely wanted to stay in Texas. So this was a great choice. It's like a little community. Like whenever I came down here, everyone was so nice on my visit and they were really good to me. And then I like the palm trees too and the weather. Reporting from deep in the heart of South Texas, for Bronx Country, I am Romeo Villarreal. Strong showing for UTPA women's tennis at Texas State Play Day on Saturday with nine singles wins and one doubles win, including the first career wins for Stanislava Stakova. The Bronx close out the fall season this weekend at Sam Houston State. UTPA men's golf closed out the fall season at the Quail Valley Intercollegiate this week. Despite being hosted by McNeese State, the tournament held in Bureau Beach, Florida. The Bronx get nearly four months off before kicking off the spring season. Every time you look up, it seems UTPA women's basketball is out and about in the community. Next on Bronx Country, the Bronx get involved with a local War Heroes family. If you live in Edinburgh or have ever been to the city that houses UTPA, you've probably heard the name Freddy Gonzalez. There's an elementary school and a street named after him. Sergeant Gonzalez, who grew up not too far from campus, was a Medal of Honor and Purple Heart recipient who died at the age of 21 in Vietnam. Sergeant Gonzalez's final days were heroic. He received shrapnel wounds while carrying an injured man to safety. He also helped to protect his unit by destroying heavily fortified positions and a rocket emplacement with anti-tank weapons before being mortally wounded by a rocket. The United States Navy commissioned a guided missile destroyer in 1996 known as the USS Gonzalez named in his honor. Sergeant Gonzalez's mom, Dolia Gonzalez, has become known as the ship's mother and attends many of its major ceremonies. She and the crew of the ship even exchanged letters and phone calls. When Gonzalez learned that the UTPA women's basketball team would be donating food to military personnel, she was there. Lucy Barrera has more. The UTPA basketball team has been working hard on the court and off the court. Anytime you can give back to heroes and people that are fighting for our country, that's it's a great thing. And, and to go out and be able to buy this food and send it over to them, it'll you know remind them of home a little bit. And it's a good lesson for our girls to realize the importance of sending stuff overseas and appreciating our troops. I, I didn't expect this thing. When he called me, I was like, I was going to break, and I only get 15 minutes break. And I said, yes, yes, yes. Well, later on, he called me again. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll go. It was exciting. I was trying to get dressed and I was determined what to do. I crossed Freddy Gonzalez Boulevard and I taught history in high school. And I'm always wondering where people got the name of the streets and I pulled up Freddy Gonzalez and found out he's one of the most decorated men ever in the history of the armed services. What a great young man to give his life for our country in Vietnam. Dolia Gonzalez visited with the team and shared special mementos about her son, Freddy Gonzalez. Took his 12 weeks training, came back home, went back to Vietnam. I saw my son three times in two, two years now. When he went back for a second tour, he didn't come back. Several of the Bronx currently have family members serving our country. It means a lot because I have two siblings that's in the Navy and just they're brave to do what they're doing, so it takes a lot. The Bronx helped the Veterans Service Center with care packages for soldiers. Sam Perez, Vice President of the Veterans Service Center located at UTPA, knows the importance of receiving these packages. A lot of the things that we receive, we don't have over there. Some of the candies, our favorite candies. Uh, now, where were you stationed? Uh, Iraq, Pakistan, Iraq. Abu Dhabi. So three deployments. So it's a great feeling when you get the, these. For the Bronx to make these packages possible is important. 
I have a sister who's in the military, and while she was touring in Afghanistan, she always was like, when you guys send stuff, it's like, basically like Christmas. We learned that we shouldn't take things in life for granted. Reporting for Bronx Country, this is Lucy Barrera. Just another example of how Coach Tidwell and the Bronx are making a great impact in the community. Another way the Bronx are getting involved is with a bone marrow drive in just a few weeks. UTPA Baseball held a bone marrow drive and got 250 donors signed up last year. This year, Bronx Baseball and Women's Basketball are teaming up to make the drive even bigger. It's something Coach Tidwell's done before. Well, I tell you, uh, Jonah, I've been very fortunate. I've been involved with Be The Match now. This will be my seventh year. And it's a very humbling experience because you get to meet a lot of young people that need help through the bone marrow registry. And it is so such an awesome feeling when you're able to help someone. The years that I was at Lamar, we registered over 3,500 people during the course of six years. And we had three matches that came out of the group that we registered. And that is, uh, that's just an off awesome experience to be able to know that you've helped someone and helped save their life. The Bronx will hold the bone marrow drive on the UTPA campus on November 19th. We'll have more information as we get closer, but if you can't wait and want to donate now, Log on to bethematch.org for more information. Want to support the Bronx the way they're supporting the community? Donate to the Bronx Athletic Fund today. You can become a member of the BAF for just $50 a year. All of the money raised goes directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit bronxathleticfund.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. Here goes Reynolds. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Here's what's coming up for the Bronx this week. Men's basketball with an exhibition game against Texas A&M Kingsville, Saturday at 7 at the UTPA Fieldhouse. Volleyball completes a three-match road trip. The cross-country teams become the first UTPA squads to compete for WAC championships, while women's golf and women's tennis complete their fall seasons. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in Bronx country this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then... Go Here we go.
Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference.